What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 build video. Today's build video is going to be quite a special one. This is going to be my best PvP rifle build. It's unbelievably strong. If you like rifles, if you like any kind of overpowered build in the game, you're going to love this one. In the PTS, I did a couple of uh, runs with this with a similar kind of build. Uh, it has been tweaked a bit. I've adapted the changes and I found in the PTS rifles were arguably the strongest guns in PvP. But now I'm going to show you guys my updated version. This is the best way to run rifle PvP builds in my opinion. Now it's going to be a bit of a shock as to what specialization I'm going to be using. But you know, you can see on my back it's going to be different. We're going to be using the technician. Sharpshooter would obviously be good for headshot damage, but that's not what we want to do. That's not how the build works. You're going to see, guys. You, let me explain. I'm going to explain all the details to you guys in a moment. Now, it's going to require putting people onto bleed. That is not even a, a must, but it gives you a, a bunch of damage. Now, without any buffs, you will two to three shot people with half a million armor. Uh, if you activate, if you put them on the bleed, which is actually very, very easy, you will one shot anyone in the head. You will two shot people in the body. It's crazy strong. Uh, some p players, it depends if Spark's active. It is a little bit situational with regards to Spark, but we're gonna get into the details. Uh, you can really, really shred through people and withstand a lot of damage. So first and foremost, make sure you have the technician. There's a reason for that. Uh, make sure skill damage is active instead of skill healing because we don't need healing we, we basically have a rifle clutch build right here and i'll show you guys in a second uh, then just go over everything 50 percent pulse resistance all of that must be active and make sure this is my rifle is active and that unlocks one of the most important things in this build this is why we use the technician now, yes we do get the hive uh, skill haste and range which is really nice 30 percent buff which is great 50 percent skill haste is also very nice this Pulses targets when you aim at them, guys. So when you use this on your rifle, if you just aim at someone, it instantaneously pulses them. It's very, very strong, and you can imagine what we're going to be using with it. So let's get into the juicy part of the build, the actual build itself. Um, all the pieces. The juiciest part is going to be the rifle for now, because this is... <laughs> I've done... Over the last three days, I've tested every single rifle, and this is by far the, the best way to kill people that I've found. Now, you can use whatever gun you want, whatever rifle... Uh, we're going to go over it in detail now. So 945. The reason why we've gone for 945 and not 11, because obviously you would think composure would be good. We don't want to be that squishy. 300k armor is not a joke. And 2,500 skill power with our Seeker Mine is also very good. Plus, we are heading for 105k a shot. And with Sadist, make sure you guys have Sadist. Jazz hands, it doesn't matter. Whatever secondary, uh, as long as you get high base damage, try to get above 100k. With Sadist, 30% damage to bleeding enemies. So, how are we going to get people on the bleed, first of all? Well, we're going to be using this right here. This is a level 1. I don't, I haven't got the Merciless or the Ruthless and higher than never one. I pre-ordered the game. This is the only one I've ever gotten. It is a bit sad. 600 damage. Don't worry. That's only going to be used for a holstered gun. And we're going to be using Brutality. So, while holstered, landing a shot has a 5% chance to deal 100% damage. So, if you shoot someone with this holstered and you proc a damage... As you can see, we have got stacked damage on this build. You will one-shot anybody with this build. You, you'll just one-shot them. If Sadist is procced and, and you hit your explosive, you'll one-shot. And it's always a two-shot. That's what I find. Uh, if you can see any of your skills proc, whether it be the pulse, whether it be uh, not even all of them at once. I'm sure you saw in the footage, uh, you can two-shot people very easily. People with high armor. So this build is crazy strong and it destroys people. You can face tank whoever you want with this build. They will come out second best almost every single time. So use this one, guys, the classic M1A. Now, you don't have to use it because I've tried a whole bunch. I've tried the MK-17. I've even tried the USC. Uh, but the MK-17 uh, is actually way worse than using the M1A because I had to put about four or five bullets into people sometimes, whereas this is bah, bah, and they're dead. So I think you can understand what I'm saying. Try and find the right one. This has got more damage. So I, I can swap it. It doesn't matter. You don't. It doesn't really matter. I actually think I've just recently gotten this one. So that there we go. Some more damage for me right there. So just make sure to go with that. And then you have to have Ruthless as your holstered to get extra damage and to proc Spark. Because when you have when you hit an explosive bullet onto someone, Spark actually procs. So I don't know if anyone knew that or if a lot of people don't know that actually. That you proc Spark. So that's why it's very important to have this holstered. All right. So the pieces. Nila got Mask, 5% total armor. Very nice. It, it helps us to be a bit more tanky. Perfect Spotter. Now, this works with that laser in the Technician Specialization. 
Perfect Spotter gives us 20% damage to enemies that we are aiming at. We don't have to use Pulse as a skill. It is additional. It just adds on top of it. 500 skill power on the mask is beautiful. That's why I've got such high skill power. 15% skill haste. It's very nice. Got an utility mod slot right there. Again, add some more seeker skill power. Perfect. Get one of these. Uh, if people try to tell you where to find them, don't listen. Just farm Uligard or the mask section. It's that simple. It's not hard. Or you just do missions. I find doing heroic missions gives us these perfect uh, talents very quickly. The, the good items. Chess piece. This is where you can you can play around. Now, I've got a, a perfect vigilance there with high armor and I can roll 21% headshot damage. But the whole point of this build is utility. Uh, don't be one of those bots who thinks that damage is everything. Uh, that's not. If you want to face tank someone and you just spec all the way into damage, you're not going to win. Uh, the other person will probably kill you. Just just trust me guys on this one with this build. I've been doing a lot of testing. Uh, it's up to you though. You can change it however you want. Uh, all the holdings will be good. You will get some extra damage, but I recommend using this because we will be taking hits. This is more of a, a, a spammy face tank build. It's not really a hide and cover build. Even though you would, it, it's a good idea to be in cover because of... Uh, certain entrenched talents on our knee pads which we're going to go over just now so i've got 3.5 percent weapon damage but the most important thing is the high roll of armor we want to still be able to be tanky and destructive is very important that helps us with proccing the damage from the um, brutality talent on the merciless so you'll be hitting massive numbers with this uh, it helps with your seeker mind because that's how we're going to actually proc the bleed a lot the seeker mind because it's actually got ridiculously low cooldown which i will show you guys in a second so that's what i've gone for there 4800 armor with 2.5 percent total armor very nice you get these percentage on the secondary rolls of your armor those are the best so try and get that i got some chem launcher here i actually want to try and get seeker mine over there then once you've done that you see skill haste as well that's why alp summit is so good for this build because we want our seeker mind to come back as quick as possible because this is not a skill build so we want to be able to put people on bleed all the time the holster is something that you can decide upon yourself because you can go for, uh, you see, I've got precise over there. So you can actually give yourself 5% extra damage. Uh, it's up to you. You can use bloodlust. Whenever you swap a weapon, it gives you 15% damage. Uh, this would be good as well. 5% weapon damage. But I have gone for the crit chance because this gives me a massive amount of crit chance. It does help the build. I do see a bit more crits and it's got crit damage because it's a wyvern wear. But you guys can go mad with the holster. Go ahead and change it to however you want. And then backpack, this is very important. Now, 9% weapon damage, 3% crit damage, and 4 15 skill power with spark and hardened. Spark is procced every time our seeker mine hits someone. Uh, so damaging enemies with skills or explosions. So with your hive or your seeker mine or your merciless uh, brutality talent when you're shooting, we'll proc spark. So your spark's going to be up a lot more than you think it will. Uh, almost all the time, every person you face, you will have spark active. It's 15% weapon damage. It's a must. Hardened is also very good. We want to be able to get that tankiness back because we don't have blues on our build. Now, it's very important you have nine reds and five yellows for the perfect spotter. So that's why it's a bit tricky to make this build. you got to concentrate. And don't waste all of your uh, ceramics and electronics. So... The gloves, this is also very important. 10% skill power helps us with our Seeker Mine because we're trying to go for a little bit of a hybrid with our Seeker Mine because you want it to come back very quickly and it does a lot of damage. In the, in the update TU6, uh, Seeker Mines do quite a bit of damage, guys, so definitely do it. Precise is for when you do hit a headshot, it does give you a massive buff of damage. Um, that's why we can one or two shot people with high armor. It's because of this. I've got 5% rifle damage, as you guys can see. I've got much room for improvement. I'm going to probably try and roll. I've got some other uh, decent. I think I've got a high roll. There we go. 12% rifle damage. So I'm probably just going to swap that over there. But I just need to, the credits first. And I've been making a lot of builds and testing things. So I'll probably move it over this. I'll get more damage again. Knee pads. This is another one. Another perfect talent that really does help. This is what I was meaning earlier when I said it, you get clutch. So this is the perfect in slot knee pads. For this build because we have overlord armaments which gives us 10 percent rifle damage i've got 12k armor with perfectly entrenched headshots from cover repair 15 percent of your armor it's like having clutch for your armor it's ridiculous you'll be shooting people and your armor will just be just keep going up it's really really strong so i recommend well it's a must make sure you guys have this just go farm this is an overlord armaments knee pad so either farm knee pads or 
the Overlord Armaments. It's a very nice piece. It really helps us build a lot. In PvE as well, you'll constantly be healing yourself. That's how we heal ourselves with this build. So if you're hitting headshots, you're not only doing maximum amount of damage, but you're also healing your, yourself really well. So the way that this build synergizes is incredible. Let me just go over it again. So we're going to be proccing Sadist. That's 30% extra damage while using this as our holstered because we get explosions every 5% chance of getting an explosion which is very important the brutality is very important 100 percent extra damage that will then proc spark and then all the skills we're going to be using which is seeker mine and the uh, ble the stinger hive will proc spark as well precise gives us all the headshot damage we've, we've stack some explosive damage there 40 percent so not only will our seeker mine uh, take half of an enemy's armor easily we'll just be able to one tap them that's how you generally kill people in this build and i'm going to show you how how the, the cooldown is 22 seconds guys and it comes back a little bit faster than that for some reason so we're dealing a lot of explosive damage we're healing ourselves with perfect entrench our spotter is pulsing people giving us 20 percent extra damage while being able we could potentially heal ourselves really well as well if we didn't want to use uh, the stinger hive you can use a healer or a chem not chem heal you could really work around this build and make it really something special because at the moment the first match i got into in conflict i think i got like eight or nine kills and i died once it's really really good I've tested it in the dark zone. It's even stronger in the in the occupied dark zone. So it's a very fun build to use. It's very potent. And if you guys can see what I mean by everything synergizes very well in this world. The explosions, the spotter, the spark, the ex explosions from the brutality when you hit people. That proc spark as well. Then you hit headshots and heal. It's very strong. So let's go over the stats now. I think our headshot damage will be pretty low, but don't worry about that. You'll be hitting hard. 21% uh, crit chance is actually pretty good. If, on your knee pads, you can reroll that for some crit chance instead of armor. That's up to you. Headshot damage is 75%. That's still pretty decent. 50% crit damage is pretty high. All weapons and then um, rifle damage, 40%. That's actually really good. Uh, all weapons damage bonus, nice. Perfect spotter, perfectly entrenched. All, all the good stuff there. Uh, health on kill. Explosive resistance, 5%. Pulse resistance, 50 Now, people will have pulse resistance, but trust me, you don't feel it. You just rip through them. It, you don't feel it at all. That's why perfect spotter is so good. 35% skill haste is very, very nice. And I'll show you guys why it's even better right now. All right, so let's go over the skills. This is why we have a bit more skill power. Guys, look at this. 138% skill haste and 54% damage is active on this build, which is insane. For nine reds, that's crazy strong. You'll be doing 600,000 damage. Every 22 seconds, you have one again. You'll always have your Seeker Mine up. Not only that, but because of the Technician, 30% Radius, 30% Skill Haste, and 60% damage, you'll, people will just be bleeding. Funny enough, when you throw this Hive down after they've been hit by a Seeker Mine, sometimes you don't even have to shoot them, especially people running low armor Berserk builds. You, you, they just get killed by your skills. It's hilarious. You're like, wow, I made a DPS build that heals myself while shooting, but my skills end up killing you. That's why this build is, you can classify it as a hybrid, but I feel like this is the best way to use a rifle PvP build in the Division 2 during 2U6. So anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy it. I think I actually have to go and farm. Uh, no, I've actually got this as my rifle completely active. So make sure you do that because of that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. It was it was really fun using this build. I hope you guys give it a try. Uh, let me know in the comments how you would change it. Maybe make it to suit you. And like always, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Division 2 content. And I'll be seeing you agents in the next one. Peace out, boys.